Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually in this video we will discuss that how we, we can uh, control the reactive nature of Shiny dashboard. So in order to discuss that we will be introducing uh, submit buttons to control the reactive nature of uh, our Shiny dashboard. So before going towards introducing submit button, first I will show you guys that what does it mean by the reactive nature uh, I am referring to. So this is the same code file that I have used when I was discussing a downward arrow and radio button options uh, in R Shiny. So I will execute the code. I will go through uh, a bit about the code that what I am doing in this code. Uh, but first I will execute this code and then I will discuss the reactive nature of R Shiny. Control enter. So this is the dashboard that we have created. So we have uh, two text input uh, buttons here uh, and then we have a, a select input here. So suppose whatever, so what is your college name? So and I have so whatever I will write, it will be uh, because I have designed the code. Whatever I design here will be shown here. So suppose if I say LSE, you can see that it automatically get updated into my main panel. So if there is a change in my text box, the main panel got updated accordingly according to the code instantly. So suppose my degree level is eighteen. You can see the main panel is showing eighteen. So, in if I select uh, any city, so the currently the graph is updated according to the London, but I can select uh, New York, uh, and then the graph got updated according to New York. And if I select what is marital status, married, so you can see that everything got updated. Uh, but the point here is that uh, uh, I keep on changing. Uh, I'm selecting the option, and my main panel. Uh, keeps on changing instantly but suppose if you don't want to change your uh, main panel instantly so what you want you want to select the option first and then maybe you want some button to suppose which will be saying update now and you click that button and then your main panel got updated so actually here we are not having any issues because the data set I'm using or the example we have here is having is is not based on much data uh, even this graph is based on not uh, a very i think maybe 2 kb or 3 kb excel file that we have imported here but when you will be dealing with uh, a very big data set then it will be recommended that you use update button so that you, you don't uh, otherwise if you don't use the update button or you don't uh, control the reactive nature of main uh, of your shiny dashboard it may take a lot of time while loading those things so that's why it's recommended that uh, uh, you control the reactive nature of uh, your dashboard by using uh, a update button so it, so again uh, what does it reactive nature mean that if i select if i say write 19 it got automatically updated I don't want to be instantly updated. I want to control this reactive nature. So in order to do that, uh, I will introduce a new function submit button. But before introducing the submit button, I will discuss this code a bit first. So for this dashboard, we will be using these two libraries, shiny for the shiny dashboard and read R is to read CSV file. Uh, then I'm setting my working directory where this data is located and then after the data is located I'm saying that I'm giving a title uh, within my UI object that uh, my user interface title panel will be my first dashboard app then I want my uh, sidebar layout on the right hand side that's why I'm using position is equal to right and then my uh, within my sidebar panel, I have used a heading it will be titled like this. The dashboard is designed to get information from the college students. And then I am using a text input uh, function. 
I created an ID name, what is your college name, will be the title of this text input. And then I have also created a second text input when I call it level, the ID, uh, the input ID is level. And the title of this text input will be what is your degree level. And then I have used a select input function to select the city. We have three cities in the data, therefore uh, I'm calling a vector London City, London, New York and Paris. I'm going a bit into uh, more into quickly into this code because we have already discussed that code. Then I have a radio button for the marital status. And then uh, before discussing this main panel, I will first go to shiny server. So within the shiny server, we have created this function which will be capturing the input and the output. Inputs will be coming from our user interface. So first from the first input, input name, I am rendering the text and I am assigning it to an output object out underscore name. And then same as for level, I am uh, rendering the input level and then signing it to an object named as out level. Again, for the input city, signing it to an output ID out underscore city, same for marital status. And then I am creating a graph uh, such that which will keep on updated based on <clears throat> based on the city I have selected. So so I will be getting input city from my select input button and my y-axis will remain constant which will be world employment rate uh, and then I am just giving the x label and then uh, my title of the graph is employment trend so this is the uh, and then I can execute control a and control enter so this is the dashboard a very basic dashboard that we have created and now I will introduce the radio button suppose uh, within the sidebar panel uh, you want to add a uh, you want to add uh, submit button and how it will work with, I will show you guys. So currently as you can see that I am under the sidebar panel. So where my cursor is, I will say comma, I will enter and here I will enter my uh, function submit. So I will be using the submit button option. So the first thing that uh, what should be written in uh in that submit button so of course i want to write down as uh update now so this i want to be written in my submit button so now suppose let's see if i execute this code let's see what it do control a control enter now you can see that if i write something here You can see that your main panel is not updating up, uh, instantly. What is your degree level? 18. You can see 18 is not get written down here. Uh, married. If I click married, it's not written down here. But suppose now if I click, you can see that now we you can see a new button here. Update now. So suppose if I now I click this button, update now. So you can see all of the things got updated uh, when you click this update now so this update button have given you a freedom to control the reactive nature and you can use this update button to update your main panel outputs uh, only when you click that button again this thing become very useful when you will be dealing with a very big amount of data sets and and you want to execute only when you are fully satisfied okay i want to update my main panel according to this criteria again the second thing is that uh, suppose if you don't want to add this button under your sidebar panel maybe you want to create, add that button under your main panel you can also do that so we'll show you guys uh, in order to do that, suppose if you just so I don't want it under my sidebar panel, so I will just 
control x from here and i will add it to the under now i am under main panel so i will say coma so so as you can see i'm under main panel now and within the main panel i have added this submit button function let's go to type execute now control a control enter now you can see that uh, we have a update button under our main panel and it, is, it will work the same way 18 20 university single nothing got updated in main panel but if suppose if i click this update button you can see that every my main panel got updated according to the options that i have selected in my a sidebar panel i will close it again uh, there if i go take you guys back to main screen of r uh, so in order to show one thing that so if you guys want to know about uh, uh, this side button function more if you go to this help and if you write down so i have already written submit button and you click it you will be having this page in which it is a very useful text about how you can use this function within the submit but button there is another option which is the icon you can select different icon you can even adjust the width of your button so i will give you one example of the icon so so suppose you want to within your icon you want a refresh sign within it uh, so how you can do this so it's not very difficult so as you can see we have our submit button under our main panel so i will use the option comma and after the comma i'll be saying icon and after icon i'll be using this shiny icon function and within that i will be mentioning refresh so now let's see if i execute this code how it will work control a control enter so now actually i think i got some error let me check why i'm getting this error sorry i got an error because i have write down refresh with the capital letter so it actually it have to be small r so now if i execute my code control s and control a control enter to execute the code so you can see this is my dashboard now and i have button with a refresh icon within it uh, and again last time if i say lsc is my college name and in degree level 18 selecting the city paris and single did now so you can see all of my dashboard got updated when i selected when i click this button it keep not keeps on updating uh, when i was selecting this option uh, so this is one of the example of submit button again in the end of the video we'll say this submit button become very important function especially when you will be dealing with large amount of data set and it will allow you to execute your dashboard more efficiently uh, Thank you for watching the video.